Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to do this paper squishy tutorial that has been requested so, so many times on my channel. So yeah, I finally decided to give it a little go. So to start off with, you'll need an A4 piece of paper and you'll want to colour this in or if you have a coloured piece of paper that will be a good place to start. But what I did was I coloured the whole of the piece of paper in brown acrylic paint in this nice burnt sienna shade as I wanted to make it into a Rilakkuma coloured Swiss roll rather than the pink one. Once the paint was fully dry, what I then did was rolled it onto itself to make the size of the roll that I wanted and then I just unrolled it and taped up the bit that I kind of cut off to make the roll cylindry shape. What I did was just tape this all the way around and then rolled it on itself and with the overhanging bits I just stuck that bit down and added another tape all the way along that section to make it nice and secure and just a tight cylinder shape. I then cut off the excess on the edges which had all the kind of paint marks on and then taking the leftover bit from before I just cut out two circles. On the first circle I started cutting little notches around to make little tabs as this will make it easier to kind of fit it around whilst your cylinder has nothing inside to keep it in shape and what you want to do is like kind of stick each of those tabs down on the edge of the cylinder to make it nice and secure. You'll want to just completely cover the end in tape to make sure it's nice and shiny and just the same texture as all over. Once you have your end fully taped, you'll then want to stuff your squishy with whatever filling you want to stuff it with. I stuffed mine with half of toy stuffing and then the other half with memory foam offcuts but you can use garbage bags, tissue paper, cotton wool, anything that you have hanging around. What I then did was took the other circle and just taped the end of the cylinder shut. Once completely shut, I then took my white puffy paint and just did some swirls on either end and added a little kind of, I don't know what you call this on a bear, is it a muzzle, a snout, whatever you want to call it, on the front in white puffy paint also and I also added the two eyes in black puffy paint and added the mouth and nose piece onto the little muzzle bit in the same black colour. I just basically copied this from the Rila Kuma Swiss roll as this was what I was trying to create in paper form. Once all the paint bits were fully dry as you can see here the squishy is then complete. Now with 3D paper squishies you are always going to have once like you crumple it, it is going to be a little bit creased. This is why paper squishies aren't my favourite anymore as I feel like memory foam ones do last a lot better and look a lot better but this is a great alternative if you can't use memory foam or if you don't have access to it or anything like that. So as you can see here it does come back sort of but not 100% as you would like expect a normal squishy to. I'm squishing it so hard here and you can see it comes back to about half the way and then with a little bit of help you can kind of straighten it out again. And this is the case with all paper squishies that I've tried so far. None of them have come back 100% all the way but still I'm really really happy with how this turned out. Now if I was to make this again I would make it so that I did another layer of the brown paint after the tape because I feel like the tape looks a little bit too much on the end so that's one thing that I would kind of suggest if you are going to make this DIY is to put another coat of paint over the tape just to kind of give it a more neater finish. So yeah I'm not 100% sold on this but I do really like it and I do feel like it will make a cute ornament or something like that just not so much a cute squishy. This is definitely something that you could like put on a shelf or your desk just to brighten it up a little bit with really cool space. And yeah, I just feel like that would work really well for a low cost decor piece. So let me know what you think of this squishy. And yeah, I will see you for tomorrow's something on Sunday. Bye!